Hello there, everyone. Welcome back to Humankind. This is Good Guy Palps. And uh, we're doing all right. We have a couple cities, well, four cities, some territories, some of which we need to claim around here. Let's turn 90 Prime Moon on to turn 76, and we are at war. War! This can only mean one thing, invasion. All right, so we have a battle here. They must have some reinforcements. That's fine. In fact, they, um, they for, you know, for sure do, and that's okay. Uh, both of these units are there. We're going to retreat. The good news is we are retreating towards our city. We have a decent amount of gold. I think I want to make that purchase and get the Palisades. And then kind of move into there this next turn. I also want to come here. We have up to four pop now. And that means... Probably, I could get some units for defense, potentially. Um, we definitely would love some of these infrastructures. We wouldn't even mind some of these. Uh, three turns is pretty slow. But if they do come forward, you know, more units really doesn't, doesn't hurt. Um, we will have the sorties, though. We have a decent amount of, you know what, this is immediately going to give us more food. And, I, and this is going to, like, we already have a decent amount of river tiles. I think that's what we should grab kind of right away. Here we go. Plus three faith on territory. Minus 50. We're going to actually do the replace. You will not spend influence in your, if we take a look, we have influence on main plaza plus three faith on territory. Oh, that's a tough one that is a tough one because we're getting a lot of influence from our main plazas 20 I guess per turn the faith per territory though doesn't necessarily hurt us right now in the sense that we will we have a lot of territories right and you know getting more faith isn't necessarily a bad thing it'll help us kind of control some of these well with the Maya okay we're gonna, we're gonna we are gonna replace that unfortunately for now 11 12 not bad and there's a market quarter as well plus two food on harbor like I'm tempted just to continue to pump out like cab if I'm being honest how small this city is. It's kind of funny. Like, we, uh... Plus one from the Farmer's Quarter, produced in Farmer's Quarter. Like, we could be pumping out some of these 18, 18, <laughs> you know? Like, we probably should be. Um, giving us more growth. This isn't bad either, though, because it improves our industry as well. It's uh, improving our food. 6, 12, 11, 12. Stability is not bad. I, I kind of just want to pump out some more units, though. Get another quick army, see what we can do. It's 100, we get 131 per turn. They cost 189. We must have some left over for sure. Um, I kind of do want to just pump out need some more calf to make sure we kind of get some extra support here. And they can just kind of run up. And those chariots are going to be very beneficial. Although, if we take a look here, where we reached in writing after that, we really need to grab standing army and mounted warfare. I think there is a, a chance to get, actually citizens would be nice. All right, we have, are citizens the first ones actually? Ooh, maybe we do want fortifications. I thought there was one before citizens, but maybe there's not. There must not be. Um, yeah, we really would like to get more elephants. We'll think about that next turn. For now, more cab is going to be helpful, and they'll get up here quicker. Let's go ahead and let these units heal again. Let's end our turn. I'm going to move into the city defenses kind of immediately. Go 
Come on. Come on. What's taking so long? There we go. Alright, we got riding. Our city cap is now up. I don't know why I'm down to 74 per turn. We got a merchant star, finally, giving us 250 fame. Putting us just behind first place, but we do have more stars. And here are those units that we do not like. Now, with these fortifications, though, we are in a much better place to defend. Much better. I wouldn't mind some more fortification here, kind of making a wall so they do attack from up here. They kind of have to push in. And it is nice that we finally have the palisade, and you can kind of see it with the little towers. It's kind of fun. Okay, here come these units. We don't, we probably want to actually bring them into here. Into a support role. Also in the city. Here, we're going to do the same thing. We're just going to wait, I think. I could go take this fight. Let's see, are they exhausted? Are they going to be able to attack us? If we move a against, to the, like right adjacent to them, they would be able to attack us. I don't mind. I suppose they might retreat. Eliminating them this turn, though, doesn't really hurt us anyway. Who has the ranged? No mercy! Right, they're gonna take that fight. I don't know why, but I will happily take that fight. Follow me. Uh -huh. I actually wanted this unit here because it gives this guy more combat strength. Here we're to end our turn, our deployment, I mean. Move our archer forward here, take a shot. Of course, um, we need to get the kill on this turn, otherwise they can just run up right here. I guess no, they won't. We'll bring our cavalry up or something. And now we definitely want to get a rear attack here. So I think the best thing is to move our chariot here. Follow me. Move our chariot here, attack downhill, Warrior and get a rear attack. Then make it that rear attack. And then we want to attack with the swordsman. Maybe the best trade. We could have probably come all the way around and done the rear attack probably would have been a little better. Now that. Sorry. Um good little battle. Uh eliminated the unit. Now we can move towards the city. I guess technically next turn. Tech-wise, now getting sailing makes a lot of sense. Getting the money on harbor since we have harbors. But so do all of these is kind of the problem. Getting our city cap higher, also pretty beneficial. But we don't need that yet. Getting naval transports, money on main plaza. We definitely want to get our money improved. Uh, no, but we kind of need to make sure we win this battle first. And I think getting a standing army is pretty pretty good since we are kind of going on the offensive mostly now let's bring these armies forward we want to bring them together they retreated kind of they're right here I'm not sure where they're going because of that I want to bring these these uh, horsemen forward they should be not be able to be attacked in this other territory I guess it's someone else's territory so that's where they are and I got one of our eye on them. How are we doing on the war support? We are Greetings, winning. Sovereign. War support's going are down by two. Me? Their war support's 89. Or against Do you actually have to, like, force it down? It's kind of crazy. All right, so if we start this siege, our deployment is not... Any very. Nah, it's okay. 
All they have is this, but we could get a battering ram. We do have ranged units in support. The only issue between of waiting is that they can bring reinforcements back. And it's just fences, so there's not really a reason we should assault. Uh, we're gonna do a manual battle. Uh, let's get make sure our archers are up high. As high as they can go. Feeling so high. Let's also make sure our swordsmen are the, the closest to getting hit. Um, we would also prefer, yeah, that, yes, I think that, that way they kind of have to push up and into us if they want to, you know, run out, which we are happy to let them do. So we're going to end deployment. And because of that, we are just going to shoot and let's shoot far. And then let's, yeah, let's shoot there, shoot there. Uh, we're going to defend. And defend, 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 and defend. Let them attack the pill into our swordsmen and into our spearmen. Swordsman taking a big, big hit, hit, but that's okay. He's the one we kind of wanted to uh, take the beating. That's a victory. Now, because. Interesting multiculturalism, influence, and stability. Now, this is losing stability. we got to move a unit in. We'll have to do that next turn. It's kind of lame that it's like, oh, you're losing stability. It's like, okay, yeah, I know I need to have units there, but we just conquered it. So This is now occupied, and if we take a look at this, and they are losing eight instantly and a minus four every turn because we occupy a city. So we will win this war if we can defend this city. We need to put units in it to make sure we can uh, stabilize it. We need to bring this cavalry forward to make sure we can hold it. And if we push into Babylon, that, that, you know, that doesn't hurt. Um, we also wouldn't mind some raiding to potentially speed up the victory. Again, we're going to wait till next turn here. Now, that did cost... Yeah, maybe we'd actually just bring up the two with reinforcements. Maybe we cancel these two. We just finish this chariot next turn and bring up those two for support. That might be all we need. And in the meantime, we should focus on some more growth. Um, per adjacent market, quarter, market quarters, interesting. We have some really important things we'd like to build here. And starting with, I think, well, how's our stability? Very good. Let's grab this and throw it there. Units need to move. Okay, so we're kind of in a little stalemate here. We don't want to take this fight. We could. Theoretically, it would be best with these units. They're not, oh, they are exhausted. Okay, so this unit, we just kind of want to wait, I think, till next turn. If they move forward, we want to... All right, so we're just kind of scouting them out here. They now have an archer that they picked up. We could come here to try and pillage it, and we'll kind of want to wait to see what they do with this army next. And with that in mind, let's move this army back towards the front here. Hop onto this road, move these units into the city, heal them up. Uh, these units, we could go start a siege, but I kind of want to make sure these, these units are close enough to support each other. And I don't mind leaving them kind of up here in the high ground. Maybe right there. Gonna wait till next turn, keep scouting him out. Let's bring the cavalry up. And we wouldn't mind maybe swinging down this way. Maybe. The problem is to pillage this, where is the, uh, there's that. We could go pillage this. Um, let's move that way to kind of see what happens. We're gonna be able to get quite a bit of gold out of it, actually. Now we have quite a bit of influence. We could use that to put down more improvements. Wouldn't be bad. Could use it to grow. And expand. All right, we go to knock. We could theoretically attach this. Pretty expensive. Our stability is decent. Um, I wouldn't mind throwing a city here. Um, 
It's going to cost 2700 though. That is a lot. So maybe we just throw down some of these. Um, we're going to get more gold and get access from trade. So maybe we start throwing these down. Venus Builder Stars. Oh, that's a fun way to get quick Builder Stars. And there are gems in place. Uh, nice. Makes it pretty easy. Uh, what are we missing? We don't even have this territory yet, do we? We're missing a couple. Here we go. Don't have the, uh, we spent a bunch of influence right there. That's okay. Oh, that's why our influence went down earlier. Uh, it was because we switched uh, to that faith uh, civic. We also could have enacted the civic. That wouldn't have been a terrible idea. I also am tempted to potentially build the wonder here. Um, somewhere maybe even like it right here. Maybe right here. We're kind of, you know, like a pretty place. Hmm. This city getting some troops just in case. I think we already have the fortification, right? Let's get those two archers and then we'll probably grab this. Yeah. How are we doing in the war? Oops. Apparently, in between turns, it won't let you view them. Now we're just kind of stuck. I do like to vassalize uh, them. Uh, yeah, where are they taking them troops? Stuck on that river, so you know, no, no problem with that. I don't mind pillaging. The only issue with that is maybe we want these territories, right? Hunters, is that all they have? Besides this big army up here in the north, which we have our eyes on. Maybe we should have followed the road, but if we do attack Babylon, we want to siege from the north. Let's see what we would get. Oh, that's a holy site. Over this way. Top one of the holy site. What does this give us? 67, 480. Go! 480 gold is a lot of gold. We'll take that. It's going to take a handful of turns, though. Skip yeah. to the next turn, kind of see what they're doing here. Sentry, these are just defenders. And yes, if we do put a district here, we'll link this, giving us kind of a pretty great defensible city. Influence is up again. We can now go to this region and quickly just throw this down, giving us some gold, some production. Mostly access to trading. And we want, we want to increase our gold per turn. It needs to be improved. I also wouldn't mind building up the capital a bit. Let's throw some gold into it, finish that coffin early. And I'd like to get the growth a little bit better. Throw that down. Ooh, let's throw this down as well. Okay. Being market, ooh, 18, that is also solid. Like there's good things we need to be building here. All right, we're gonna enter. Let's Let's also spend the gold and buy that out. We'll get the fishery. 15, 13. Nice. It's improving our food significantly. Our growth is now, you know, like one per turn. We're still focusing on growth. We're not even focusing on money. That's the one thing. We could be focusing on money. 
that would be helping us get more air stars. But the growth is better, I think, in the long run. We're also tied for first. Let's go. This gives us, yeah, researcher slots. This gives us one money per market quarter, two money on market quarter. Oh, that's really good. Let's grab that next. Here, in this Sioux City. Where did, where did their units go? I wasn't paying attention. They were on this river. Did they go north? Have to just watch out a bit. I don't know where their army went. Uh -huh. uh, I should have been watching a little closer. 8280 is a little closer than I like. Here comes some support though. I want to make sure this army is safe. Greetings, Sovereign. Are you I don't necessarily want to take Babylon, although conquering them entirely isn't the worst thing ever. It would give us this entire section of the continent. I'd rather turn them into a vassal, though. I think. I think I need to stay here just to keep this place from, from plummeting to zero. Here is an army that we built. That's right. I forgot we're building an army here. Um, and what do we want to do with them? We probably should send them toward Babylon. We also want to claim more territories. This one is a great one we should claim. Let's send the army up here. Our stability is still good enough. Uh, okay, let's grab that. Fields of plenty. We take a look at that. Plus one farmer slot on city or outpost per farmer's quarter. Plus one trader slot. Okay, that's really good once we actually start using that. Yes, yeah, just kind of hang out and defend. I wonder if that's going to attack the city. We should take this fight to level up our troops. Charge. I'm not sure a bear's going to attack through walls. They can't. They don't. Do, they don't do great though. No fear. Let's get up. That's an easy fight though. Like we get no the, we get the win. We get a victory. Get some XP, and they can heal up. Okay, so now this this battle is starting to shape up to be a, a bit more of an intense one. If we do, you know, have that. But there is this army. Abandoned boat. Interesting. And what I don't see what we got here. But I don't I don't love what they're doing. We're gonna send the swords to the north. I don't love what they're I'm not sure what they're trying to do. They might just come coming to raid. If that's the case, we might have to send these units out, beat the swordsmen, kinda of have a fight here. We would be outgunned big time there. That almost means we might need to attack this city. And if we do, hmm, if we force their surrender too early, I don't think we get enough to what do I owe the pleasure? of our my war score 254. The war score defines what reparations a winner will be allowed to obtain at the end of the conflict. It is computed from the winner's war support at the beginning and end of the war, plus bonus points for pre-existing demands in occupied enemy cities. So 94 from war support plus 100 war support from the war started. 30 from demands. 30 from one captured enemy city. There was course 205. Interesting. I, I haven't noticed this before. I wonder if it's a new. I mean, if we have two wars, the first one to take some land, the second one to turn them into a vassal. It's not the end of the world. Our city cap? So, um, I got writing, thinking this was a, thinking that was, yeah, but it's not. This is the city cap we wanted. Okay, so we do need to get that. For sure. We need to get, like, everything around here, though. Okay, so the question is now, do we take this fight, and who do we initiate it with? Probably this unit. I 
don't love our initial battlefield from that position. Follow me. Still the same. That army's so far north, I kind of want to bring forward a couple troops. Don't fall behind. This is a bit of a choke point. And I don't love that this army is going to have only five, I guess six spots. We'd have to put the archers in the back. It's kind of what we have to do. All right, so they are actually attacking. So we're into a manual battle. Because of that, we actually get our bring our troops in, which is, you know, that's fine. Uh, we have to be a little wary. Now we probably want to put an archer here with a swordsman defending its flank. Archers all along this back row for sure. Horseman to the back. Um, interesting. Okay, so let's go. Over this way. It's a little debatable. I have this one unit defending this flank here, and then archers all along. Maybe that go. ridge with spearmen. Let's switch this archer for, yeah, one that's a bit better positioned. Shouldn't be able to attack on this tile because of cliffs. Uh, they mostly have, let's bring the spearmen to the front there. Hmm. It's as good as about as it's gonna get. Let's end deployment. Might, we might lose this, this unit here if we're not careful. Also, the battlefield expanded. Nice veterancy here. We have veterancy here as well. We're going to uh, pull this unit back. Bring our swordsmen forward. Bring this unit forward just to get some more adjacency bonuses. Before we do that, though, let's, let's shoot. Start with as far away as we can be. Shoot there. Okay. Now go for kills. Now move this unit here. We have three units. This unit can fire there. Beautiful. Okay, now let's uh, defend. 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 Defend again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Defend. I mean, they were smart enough to attack from their fortification. Babylon, we got a militarist star. Let's go, that's two of them. We need, we need 10 more units, okay. And we still only have that one merchant star. That should put us in the lead for faith, right? For fame? Barely. We now hold two of their enemy cities. I don't know what happens to this army up here. It still exists. But we might be able to force their surrender now, right? Oh, we offer surrender. So our war support just went up. Theirs is plummeting now. But, well, I mean, we crushed them. So, victory! Oh, and they were building roads. Dang, we should have let them finish it. Well, that's what they hear. So give us a bunch of gold. Or that one. I don't know. Ooh, okay. Nice. 
Uh, we should focus on claiming the unclaimed territories now. Which actually involves this one. This one is unclaimed. Really not special, but unclaimed. If we turn this into the city, we kind of do need this little area, just at least for some, some ugly districts, right? Uh, but that's a lot of influence. These should be relatively safe to claim. This one's a bit more contested. This one's a bit more contested. Is this between us and... Who is this between? Oh my goodness. Uh, there's no point in taking this fight, so we're going to retreat. But that's... Yeah. Solar or lunar. We're going to go solar here. We've been focusing a bit more on learning, though we haven't done... Our science isn't great. It's bad, actually. It's not just not great. It's bad. We could start saving our influence trying to turn this into a city, but that's expensive. It's almost better just to go conquer cities. Um, that's one thing I need to get better at is generating adequate amounts of influence. Uh, for now, let's let's move this to this direction. Maybe not quite like that. Maybe over there. Let's holding those two cities. We might be able to force the surrender. We also might not want to actually ransack this. We'll continue and just kind of see what happens. The Mycenaeans have fallen. Interesting. You're inching your way towards ever greater renown. Congratulations on your increasing success. So a unit, uh, uh, Mycenaeans have been defeated on the other continent. Now we can force their surrender. Become a vassal. So this has been updated. I, I like this. War score is 290. Um, pay 100. I guess we made those demands. Give Altair. It's also 10. Now Babylon we have occupied. Yeah, this is way better. This, these updates have been great. Uh, we want them to be a vassal. Um, that That's our full war score. Right? Yeah, that's way... The war score is way better. So they're going to give us 700 gold, and they give us this thing we demanded. Now, we could have demanded a city. The city, these are two of the adjoining um, territories, or we beca they become a vassal. Uh, Sweden Empire will become a vassal. Continue to demand their diplomatic independence to their new liege. Set with this line uh, to add this term to your surrender proposal. Force surrender. That is 290, right? Like, if we if we say, give us this. Oh, this is the remainder. So we still have 60 points. Okay, so we could. So where is Altair? They, that's already ours. That's stupid. Take that off. No, it's only 10, whatever. So what else would we like? Another city isn't bad. We could demand, and eh, we don't have enough to demand Babylon. So maybe we want to focus on something more like resources. Here we have these two, Mercury, so this territory. Um, this one, for 44 isn't bad. Um, really, that's what we're going to have to do is either 44 or 42. If we go look at here, not bad. It would help this city kind of grow further inland. Um, and then there's also Kakab, Kakib. Uh, also... Ooh, maybe this one's best, actually. It's got porcelain, stability, money, and gold, which is going to hover over it. Gold, tons of money. And these, Mercury is science. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. They're both really good. But which one helps us the most? This one we could eventually get into our capital, but it's going to take a bit. This one, we still need a central city. It's a little bit far. I think I want this one though. The, uh, kind of, and now we have the leftover 16. Now we can force their surrender. You have our gratitude. I definitely need to save up. I think I'm going to be sick. No need to uh, do that because we already get them from being there being our vassal. We control everything. That should mean our faith it should improve, I think. Maybe I don't know. We're losing the even Kels. if it's That's not the real yours. problem. Any human-built wonder is an. So one. 
Beautiful. So now we can pull our troops back. And we need to start kind of focusing on... We need to claim some more territories. It's probably what we need to spend our, our influence on. And then we need to start um, turning those into cities or merging. All right, let's, let's wrap up this turn here. We have a, a couple armies that need to be moved. Let's go rejoin. Let's send one of these armies to the north. We have multiple battles that might have to be fought here. Let's get this back into our capital. Let's bring these units back out west as well. These units, we could come support. Actually, we probably should move them quickly down here to claim this territory, or at least to eventually claim it. Or actually, can maybe come, let's go actually right here. And they also need to heal this unit. Let's just bring them back into this city. Uh, this unit, honestly, let's go disband them for pop. Actually, no, let's go continue to like look for things and claim more territories that need to be claimed. Like this one, since it's right next to our capital city and has coastline. We probably should claim that next, actually. Here we have swordsmen. We're going to put them, send them up to knock. And then here in Akkad, 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 I don't know. We have two coffins. We might attach it eventually, but getting some food on the harbor, not a bad, bad idea. Not a bad idea. We could get uh, money defenses. We don't have horses here, right? But we do have lots of rivers. We already got the river. Nice bonus. Plus 12, plus 15. Industry is mediocre. Industry per that, per maker, per maker, uh, industry on maker's quarter, per adjacent maker's quarter, one industry on maker's quarter. That actually might be the best one. All right, and I think that is a good place to end this. Other than that, we have some gold. And where, where's the best place to spend it? I think just kind of beefing up our capital. It really needs to be improved a little bit faster, or theoretically knock, like knock, could use it too. It's been a little bit. With 15 makers' um, quarters, your biggest worry may be where all the workers uh, will be left behind. We need a lumber yard here. We have a decent amount of trees. Let's just. It's 113. I'm just curious. Do that. 122. Okay, so that increases a decent amount, but not like, you know, an amazing amount. Uh, we have two Maker's Quarters here, right? Yes, let's grab that. Okay. I think that's good for this turn and also good for this episode. We uh, made a lot of progress, been dominating a bit, and we now we have a Vassal. The only issue with the Vassal is they're pretty, you know, a little bit in the way. But that's okay. If we continue to grow and we claim all these territories, we'll be in good shape. So thanks for watching, everyone. Hope you had a lot of fun. Uh, love you all. Thanks for your support. And I, I will see you in the next one.